Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Yeah, you can just call me back on this number here. Okay. All right, All right. perfect. All right. Bye. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What up, what up? Derek Hibbler the Great. Staying up late, trying to close a deal, trying to make a meal, trying to get another feel. You know how it is. Good to see you. Oh, yeah, we got uh, that thing tomorrow, right? That uh, that lunch? No, not tomorrow. Next week. Next Tuesday. The downtown. Ron Woods. What up? Drill Sergeant Woods reporting. I was just, been a, I was just talking to this seller, but he was like, oh, I got to eat my last minute lunch. I'm going to call you back. I was trying to see he got these two condos he want to sell, so I want to try to see if I can get one or two up there in your favorite area. Hazelwood. What's up, Charlie Weber? You love the lives, but you just missed a good one over on uh, Instagram. I usually do my lives over on Instagram when I'm talking to sellers. I just come in here every once in a while. I usually do them on the IG. You call me Christ. I am Christ-like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Who is this guy? Did I speak to him? I think this is another follow-up on the call. You love the lies. What do you love about the lies? Is it that it's live and you can't script it? Or is it live and like you don't know what's going to happen? Or what is it that you like about the lies? Yeah, I don't know about this house. This dude dreaming. $50,000. This house is not worth $50,000. I don't even have to look it up. Mm-hmm. What do you like about the lives? Or do you just act like you like them? Or they're just okay sometimes? Let me see here. For sale by owner. Wants to sell ASAP. He wants 50000 And this house can't be worth it. Darn, I was a dentist. Hmm, what can you do with this? Can you, how much is gold tooth worth if you're a dentist? I think I'm going to get it taken out next year. All right. Oh, you was at the dentist. Oh, okay, I see. Duh. See? Put it in a book. I won't ever catch it. Put it on a video. I'll learn it all. Let me see here. This guy got a lot of stuff going on on this house. Removed all the gas pipes. Prepared the floor. Ceramic tile. New vanity. New toilet. New paint. House finished. Three bedroom. One bath. Let me see what this house looks like. Let's see if we can get some pictures of it. You learn? Yeah, that's cool. But I know this house can't be worth no $50,000 anywhere near the Riverview Circle. But we'll see. Let's see what it's talking about. Yeah, these pictures suck. That's why this, I've been on Zillow for 261 days. I bet they are ready to sell. It helps you in your funny. Uh, and you learn. Yeah, that makes sense. So if you saw a listing like this. Hold on. Let me. See, how do you flip this camera like that? If you seen these kind of photos, would your house sell? I mean, it's dark, gloomy. They claim they updated. But look at that. They don't look like nothing. Should I even call this guy? Well, it's been on here 261 days. That's crazy. That's like over a year, or almost a year, ain't it? Over half a year, I guess I should say. So, I mean, that's what this guy house looked like. I guess I can call him and take his temperature. Let's see what he's talking about. Let me see here. Memory. Why is he selling memory of the home? Wife dies and has cancer. Is that the same person? Oh, no, this ain't the right person. That's somebody else. I'm looking at the phone sheet. So I be funny, too. <laughs> do I got a silly laugh? How that dude do on uh, The Simpsons? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to call this guy up. See, what, guy or girl. I don't know. Mikhail, that can be a girl or a guy. I'm not really sure. So I'm about to call him up. Take his temperature and see if we can do something with it. Something about this house worth 50000 Still call. That's right. You got it. Worst thing they can do is say no. But, yeah, we need to be probably about around uh, a lot less than that. I can tell you that. fifty k ain't going to do it. And if it's been on Zillow for sale by owner for 261 days. And let me see here. They said they may consider terms. But let me see here. I guess I'll ask them again. Because he didn't really give a straight answer when my virtual assistant, you know, they, they do all this screening. I just get them when they say they're ready to sell, and I'll call them back. 
So I'm just going through the motions. Let's see if we can get this guy, or girl, or whoever this is on the phone here. And, uh, uh, all right, let's give him a call. Mikhail or Michael? I don't know if it's Michael or Michael. Mikhail. See why no sell? Exactly. That's a good question for him. It's all about questions. I always say, ask fifty questions. If you ain't asked fifty questions, you ain't asked enough. People should answer after four o'clock, though, right? People should be off work by now, right? Hello. Hey, yeah, this is uh, Chris. You had uh, spoke to my assistant the other day about your house on uh, Oriole. Yeah, is it still available? Yes, it's still available. Uh, I was telling him uh, it's, it's rented out right now. But, yeah, it's still, safe. it's still for sale. Oh, so you have a tenant in there? Yes. Oh, okay. How long are they uh, on the lease for? Or are they just moved in? They they, re they renewed their lease about six months ago. They've been there, you know, two years. Uh, two, is it two, two or three years they've been there. They renewed their lease about six months ago. Oh, okay. So that's a year, a yearly lease they're on. So they got, yeah. So they got about six more months. Oh, okay. And what are they paying there as far as rent? Seven fifty. Oh, okay. Well, that's good money. Yeah. So, say so a few more years of that, you'll have have your uh, money all back, right? I already got my money back. Oh. Oh, see, see. Uh, I already got my money back. I'm, I'm already into profit. <laughs> oh man, I gotta come hang with you then. I'm hanging out in the wrong crowd. You making profit out here? <laughs> no nah, man, if, you know I, I'm all right. I ain't gonna say all that. Yeah, I know that's <laughs> I'm right. Maintaining, you know. So uh, with this house here, what made you um want to sell it then? If it's making good money and it's profitable, why you don't just keep it? Made my money back, and uh, I just need to. For what I'm trying to do. I just need a, 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 a chunk of change at once, you know. Uh, that's all. Chunk. Some more property, you know, that's what it's about. I know, that's right. Get a chunk of change. And um, I saw it online. It looked like it's been there for like 200 and some days. You know why it hasn't sold yet? or? I don't know. I mean, I really haven't been pushing it like that, you know. Like, really, I had a lot of people come with offers. A lot of people want to buy it been trying to lowball me because they don't understand what I've done to it. And uh, when I tell them what all I've done to it, they kind of back off and they, they'll contact me in once in a while, see if I change my mind. But the house has been, I yanked out all the gas pipes. I ran uh, all new, new electric to the whole house. The house is all electric. Got uh, new appliances in it. They got a uh, uh, new bathroom with a uh, ceramic tile on the floor, ceramic tile around the tub. New uh, shower head fixtures and all that stuff. Brand new bathroom. Uh, I finished the basement. Added a room in the basement. That's where the third room comes in at because there's two bedrooms upstairs. I resurfaced all the floors. I uh, uh, sanded them all down and I glossed them all. Made them look real pretty because they was all in bad condition. And uh, they look real nice now. Uh, oh, wow. I... Uh, I did a lot to it. Man. So you, did, so do you do all this work yourself, or you got you, you do all this stuff yourself, or you got like contractors or something? No, I do it all myself. Uh, my contractors that I deal with mainly deal with my uh, 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 HVAC stuff. Mm. And some electric. If I got a if I got a big job as far as electric, I will I will contract it out. But small house like that, I wire the whole house up myself. Oh, okay. So so it's all up to code and everything. Oh, yeah, it's all up to code. If it wasn't for code, it wouldn't do you saying. <laughs> yeah, well, you never know. We come across a little bit of everything in this business. You know that. Yeah, but, yeah, it's all up to code. You can check it out if you want to, whatever. It's, it's all good. Right, right. Okay. I have, I have, I have lights and uh, electricity on my side, too. Electricity's on my side, too. They come out and check out everything. So, it's like my property that on Broadway. I had a property on Broadway that I want to sell, too. I can just rent it out. I 
get on that, you know. You know, we did the up ahead and the outside meter on that and all that stuff. So that's uh, totally remodeled as well. It's all electric as well. New plumbing, new electric, new uh, duct work, new AC, furnace, all that. Everything is new in there too. Ceramic tile, same, same over there. Ceramic tile in the kitchen, backsplash. Yeah, I can send you some pictures of it if you want. Dang, you ain't messing around out here. So you say, I was going to ask you that. Did you have any other houses you were looking to sell? So you got that one, and you say you got one on Broadway? Yeah, 8737 Broadway, North Broadway. It's right around the corner from that one. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a look, I'll take a look at it. What are you trying to get for that one? Uh, around the same price. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you about. So you wanted 50000 for this other house. Uh, what, if you don't mind me asking, where'd you come up with that at? Well, I checked around the neighborhood to see what the houses was listed for, and that's what I came up with. Oh, okay. The condition that the houses were in, and uh, that's what I came up with. Now, now, now were they selling for that amount, or was that just the listing price? That's what they were listed for. Oh, okay. Around that price. Yeah, because, you know, we go off really more of the sales of it. We really can't go off. You know, they list houses for all type of numbers. I see stuff, million dollars. I'd be like, man, you can list it for any amount. You know what I mean? Yeah. We try to get it to what they really right. selling for. You know what I mean? I'll be realistic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. So it's just these yep. two here you got here. Um, and you say somebody just rented this other one. one. Yeah, they just rented it, man. She just got in there. She love it too. She's like she's gonna be a long time tenant. I hope so. So you might as well. Why, why you having like just uh take them and just get them refinanced at the bank or something? You can give it some cash out of them that way. Well, I mean refinance and then I have to pay the bank back. I ain't trying to be in the bank pocket. Nah. Say so they they want to have you hold them forever yeah. for thirty years. Yeah, that's, why, <laughs> man, that's why I buy them cheap and I fix them up myself, man. That way they. they houses are paid for. All my houses I got are paid for. Yeah, I know that's right. So are you looking for some other houses to buy or were you just looking just for that one? I mean, you're going to sell those and buy some more. What you going to do? Yeah, I'm looking for other houses to buy. That's why I'm trying to sell those. <laughs> I know that's right. But even if I don't sell those, I still want to buy. I'm still looking for one to buy right now. Over in that same area, do you buy South too or you just only buy North? I buy anywhere that I can afford. Oh, okay. See? Because we got a couple of them. We're going to be unloading here soon. We got, you know, we buy them and hold them. Sometimes we sell them too. So, you know, you never know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. So that one, yeah, uh. I got something to sell. Oh, yeah. We always got something. I sure enough to get to it. Yeah, yeah. We keep property. It's either coming in, going out, or keeping it forever. Right. <laughs> you know, you got to move it around. You know how it is. Because it don't matter if it's going to sell, it's going to sell. If it don't, I continue to rent it. No matter what, I'm profiting. That's how I look at it. How long have you been investing in real estate? Uh, just probably like 05. Oh, wow. You went through the crash oh, and everything then. Yeah. You went through the 07 and 08 yeah. crash and seen it all change, huh? Man, you better know it. <laughs> you didn't get caught up in that mess, though, did you? Oh, no. Man, no. Uh -huh. I, I have to stay legit, man. It took me hard to get to where I got, and I ain't got much, so I ain't trying to lose it or get in no trouble over it. Right, right. So the ones you have, see, so basically what we do is we buy them for cash sometimes, and sometimes we buy them on terms. It just depends. We'd rather get them empty. That's the only thing when we do that, We don't because we really put people anyway. in them. So you rather get them empty? Yeah, when we buy them on terms, I mean, that's the, uh, we buy them, like I say, all right for all cash, and sometimes we buy them on terms or, you know, some other creative way. Yeah. But uh, we prefer to get them empty when we get them like that. And I guess uh, you said all of yours are rented out. Yeah, man, they just rented out. I mean, you know how it is. You want your money, so you got to get it any way possible. So first come, first serve. And if I'm going to get it back by renting, I don't rent it. Right, right. If I can rent it out wide so and they like a good tenant and they have it that way too. <laughs> right. So you got it all figured out all the way around. <laughs> so um so have you thought about listing the house with like the real estate agent or something like that? Yeah, yeah, I did. 
I have thought about that, and I have a real estate agent that I deal with, and um, she was trying to put the one on, on Broadway on the market, too. But I uh, ended up getting the uh, kids in the bed, and I took it off. Mm. But it's still on Zillow. It's still on Zillow for sale. So if somebody wanted to buy it, it's still for sale. Right, right. So let's see here. I'm trying to see if I can pull up what these houses sold for over there. Yeah, they got them all over. Let's see here. 26, 52. Yeah, they selling all different price ranges over there, all over. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into that a little more deeper. So what I'm going to do, how do you say your name anyway? Is it Michael or Mike or how do you say your name? First way. <laughs> they getting all the money out here. Michael, Mike. <laughs> Right. Uh, I try to, man. I ain't trying to get it all. Just trying to get enough to feed my fam, you know, leave my kids or something. Okay. So, yeah, let me uh, crunch a few numbers here and see what I come up with, and uh, I'll give you a call back and see. Uh, I just want to see what numbers we okay. can come up with. I just want to touch base with you. And uh, like I said, my name is Chris with St. Louis Cash Buyers. I'll give you a call back, all right? I appreciate it, Chris. All right. Thank you. He said he already in profit. He don't need your money. Well, you finna take this low ball off, bro. <laughs> no, it's not a cold call. It's a warm call. He already spoke to my uh, virtual assistant. It uh, looks like yesterday or the day before one. And so I was just following up with him, take his temperature, see if he's kind of really motivated with what's going on with it. And uh, let me see here. And he said he was, um, you know, I'm just, I just got to crunch these numbers. Them numbers too tight. 50000 that's full retail. I don't even know if that's retail. It might be above retail over there. I was thinking like 35, 35,000 is like where it need to be. I mean, 35 to 40 in the ARV, and then you got to buy less than that, you know. But then they got tenants in them now, so it makes it a little bit more different. Is this thing messing up? Am I getting a good signal here? Am I on the Wi-Fi? Let me check. Yeah, I'm on the Wi-Fi, so it should be good. So um, is this choppy or is this coming out clear? How how you grade this stream? Is this stream on a one to ten? Is it one sucks or is it ten we can win? I know it's a delay on this because uh, Facebook kind of funky about it. So um, this guy here he wants fifty thousand. Uh, it's a three bedroom, one bath. He has another house right around the corner, and it's like he's trying to get the same thing for that. Not happening. Cost a ten. Okay, I thought it was acting funny because it was a uh, like glitching on my end or something. I don't know, doing some weird stuff. So, um, he don't owe nothing on these houses. He did buy them free and clear. He had this house for three years. I didn't look up the other one yet. But, uh, look like he he knows his stuff. He knows his stuff. See, he's a well savvy investor. And that's come back to that video I put out last week. Talking about who are you on the phone with? Are you on the phone with somebody who knows the talk? Who knows the lingo? Or are you on the phone with somebody that's like, oh, I don't know, I just want to sell? Or are you on the phone with somebody like, oh, Make me your best offer, buddy. Because I'm thinking about 20000 That's probably too cheap for him. But, hey, that's probably where we're going to be at, being honest. And I ain't even did all the full research on it yet. So, what's up, Ebby? What's up, Brittany? What's up, Andrea? What's up? What's up? What's up? Everybody, oh, it's a little choppy. Because I keep seeing people going in and out or something on here. So, I don't know if it's doing something. It's glitching. I could have used my other phone. Because it's my real estate phone. So, I was on this phone. So, you know. You can't win. Any questions, comments, or concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Chris Jackson, what up, though? So this guy here, he, he did redo everything in this house. I have to give him his props. Matter of fact, his pictures of the house on here. It looked like it might be better pictures than what he had on that other thing that I showed in the beginning. Oh, yeah, he hooked this up. Let me see something here. Well, no, he really didn't. It just looked brighter. Let me let you see what this looked like. He's not going to want to sell. Yeah, he, he said they lowballed him already. I'm going to lowball him too, like everybody else. I wish he had left it empty. I could have put a tenant buyer in there. I mean, it's out of date, but it's livable. I guess is what I should say. A livable house. This house has already been on the MLS. Because them pictures say Maris at the bottom. Hey, what you talking about, Tiana? I'll see you before you see me. Let me hold 15K. That's all you need, Chris? That's all you need is 15K? Well, when this deal right here close, we'll get most of that. Oh, no. Can you see that? That one right there. When that one close right there, we'll be getting some money. 
We waiting for that one to close this week. Come on, y'all. I got three of them supposed to be closing in the next 10 days, so we hope that it works out. Trying to get these other three sold. Three sold, three not sold. So I got two... I got three rent-to-own deals out right now trying to get rid of them. Got people looking at it, but they keep coming with this old, oh, I only got 2000 down, and uh, I guess I got to wait till the money free up when uh, tax season come around. I fell off with wholesaling, did one, trying to jump back in. Yeah, you need to jump back in. What does my shirt say? Got a house, I'll buy it. Now, don't ask me where I got this at. I don't know. I'll be coming up with stuff. Trying to get to Mexico. Love that board. Yeah, that board cost me $40. That was the best $40 I spent on uh, Craigslist. See, people be going to the store buying stuff. I be going on that resale market. You can get everything you want on the resale market. Everything. 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 Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, 40, $40. Yeah, you just need the $40. <laughs> I actually had the guy bring it to me, too. How about that? That must have been a motivated seller. See, I know the motivated seller. Matter of fact, what was he asking for that? He was asking 75 for it. So I beat him up on price, and he brought it to me. How you love that? Free delivery, because I didn't want to go pick that big board up. That's a big board. It's like six feet. It's like straight six feet, man. I said, no, nah, we ain't doing that. Oh, yeah, and that's your little session over there we just created, too. The office is coming along slowly. So, yeah, this is a big board. It's a lot bigger than it looks. Six foot. Six foot board. Look how many title companies you got to go through just to get a deal done. You got to go through all these title companies. That should tell you something, huh? When you can't just go through one, you got to go have like nine of them on deck. I just made a little sheet with all of them on there so I can keep con contract with them, contact with them. So I can know like who is, the we got one or two we use all the time, but. The deal I just uh, assigned the other day, uh, I don't know if y'all saw that one on, did I do that on here? I might have did it on Instagram. I think I did it on Instagram, where I had to renegotiate the deal on that duplex up on the north side. I had under contract for $2,500. Um, I got a buyer that said they wanted it for $4,300. That's some cheap prices, ain't it? If you ain't in St. Louis, I know you're like, what? That's cheap. I love it. Easy money. So, um. 2500 I had under contract for. I found a buyer for 4300 Then that buyer, so I said 4300 that means I'm only going to make, what's that, 1800 That's what I made on my first wholesale deal. We got to go back and renegotiate, baby. So I locked in the end buyer at 4300 Then I went back to the seller and renegotiated with them, got them down to 2000 So we'll make 2300 on that. At least that'll cover the expenses for the month. It ain't like I'm going to get rich on that, but... At least it'll cover something. Pay some light bills. This stuff ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. Matter of fact, y'all didn't even see the uh, store yet, did you? Did I let y'all see what the store is going to look like? No. Let me go turn on some lights. Let me let you see what the, what the resale. Ooh, we get some mess in here. Good night. It ain't open yet. We're supposed to be opening next week. I don't know how we're going to pull this off. Let me turn on some lights in here and let you know it's serious. Yeah, 2500 2500.00. That's how much it was. That's a nice, cheap deal. But I went back and renegotiated down to 2000 and we sold for 4300 So now we're going to um, try to make 2300 on it. So here you go. We'll be opening up next week. You're getting a preview. It ain't ready yet. We're getting there. You don't even remember. No, that's out of, uh, this from the late 1800s from England. That's old right there. Antique. So, yeah, we got all kind of cool stuff. But these spaces in here will be rented out. So, that's what these lines on the ground for. Spaces will be rented. So, you can rent a space and sell your junk. And it's a pretty big building. But yeah, that's how we're going to do that. So we'll be opening up approximately around Black Friday. That's the, that's the, that's the plan. I don't know if I'm going to pull that off. Got to be a good one on that. 
Got to get good in the hood. Any more questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Trying to get this store open so it can produce more income. This is like a real estate play, like I said. So these spaces will be rented out. So that's like a real estate play. Get a little small chunk from everybody. Oh yeah, this is the best place here. Here, I ain't let you see that. She just finished this yesterday. Dang, they did all that too. I ain't realize we had so much stuff. And they still going through boxes over here. Excuse the mess. But there's more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> You looking for some stuff? Come and see us. So there it is. Should I turn that light off? Uh, I already did. Any more questions, comments, concerns before I roll up out of here? And y'all saw the eBay room already, I'm sure, right? All this stuff's on eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, offer up, or not really, it's just eBay and Amazon. Oh, somebody calling. Hurry up to your desks. Title experts, the title company, we in trouble. Hello, and thanks for calling. Hello. Hey, how are you? Okay, yeah, it should have been, I think, four documents. Oh, okay, so that's fine. Yeah, it should have came out again. It should be. Okay. Yes. Uh, there should have been a document attached on there where it says closing instructions with the phone number and the email and everything for every party involved. Do you see that? See, you didn't know I was going to make it squared away for you, did you? So many to try to close on Wednesday. And uh, we're just kind of drowning here right now. We're grabbing them and just trying to order bills real fast and don't let them stress you out. I think you can do this. I believe in you. Nobody else do. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Uh, thanks so much. All right. If you need anything okay. from me, let me know, okay? Thank you much. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Do you know, is the property vacant or occupied? Do the you know? property is vacant. Beautiful. All right. Thank you much. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. See how you got to do that? She called me to Muslim. You got a document for me? Man, I sent them paperwork, man. If ain't nothing else good about me, my paperwork game is strong. I don't know what's wrong with these people. So I'm, yeah, do you got a contact information for the seller? Uh, you check that document I sent. It says the seller's information, name, email, phone number. The buyer's information, name, email, phone number. My information, buyer, email, phone number. And it even got a breakdown of the deal all on one sheet. What my assignment fee is and everything, so ain't no confusion about, oh, I thought it said this. Ain't, I don't believe in mistakes. Ain't no way you can make a mistake doing a deal with me. Paperwork game strong. Paperwork makes that paperwork. So they're trying to close that deal up. That's that one uh, up in Jennings that everybody loved. All y'all been wanting that. But it's gone now. It's locked up. All we got to do is get it to the finish line. As long as it ain't no title issues or something, because you know it always is. It's always something with these deals. Get them to the finish line. It ain't over till it's over. It ain't closed until it's closed. So close them up and float them up. All right. I think I'm about to roll out now, y'all. Y'all had enough of my babbling for the day. She wanted to flirt with you. Who did? What? 
You get, give them instructions so they'll jack it up. Exactly. I gave them a whole instruction sheet, and they still tell myself, oh, yeah, you got a, you got any contact information for the seller? You think I'm going to send you some paperwork with all contact information for everybody involved? Because I don't want them calling me. I want you to call me and say, hey, yeah, your check be here at 9 in the morning. Can you come pick it up, or do you want a wire? That's the only time I want you calling me. Is that fair? But I, get, I created a document, closing instructions, name of the seller, name of the buyer, name of the wholesaler. I even made an additional JV contract that I could put up to six wholesalers on one deal for you daisy chainers. I had to create that for that deal in Virginia. But it ain't done until the money hit that pocket. You're right. So we got a couple deals getting ready to get closed up here right around the holidays. So y'all forget, y'all don't forget, keep it pushing out here. Don't sit back and say, oh, it's Christmas and Thanksgiving. Everybody getting lazy. You you turn up. Everybody else going to sleep. You turn up. You in a woke real estate investors room. Get out here. Lock them up. Get buyers. Get checks. Just like that. All right? That's how we do it. So do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Peace out.